Good Wednesday morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope you have a blessed Wednesday uh, as you go through the day in honor and praise and glory to God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I'm thankful to be a part of your day here on social media. And today, as I was going through the thought of the day, Ezekiel chapter 44, when I came to verse 13, it spoke about how certain men who were priests were not um, allowed to continue being priests because of uh, sin and shame, uh, because of the detestable things that they had done. And today, when I was looking at that, I wanted to speak about shame, being ashamed of sin. In the beginning of time, in Genesis chapter 2, verse 25, Adam and Eve were created by God, and it says that they were naked but unashamed. But then in the next chapter, we know in Genesis chapter 3, Adam and Eve sinned. And then we read in Genesis chapter 3, verse 10, that they were covering themselves. They felt ashamed of their nakedness. You see, that is what sin does. Sin shames us. One of the things that separates us from the animal kingdom is what we have is called a conscience. A conscience is kind of like that red flag uh, tells you, you know, that tape recorder tells you you're doing something wrong. Uh, we are told that our consciences can be guilty, of course, of sin and uh, ashamed because of sin. But we also can be cleansed. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 22 tells us of a guilty conscience because of the sprinkling of the pure water, the water of the word of God. Psalm 119, verses 9 to 11 tells us that we keep ourselves away from sin by staying in the word of God. The water of the word, the word could be also referring to, obviously, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. John chapter 1, verses 1 to 3 tells us, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And then in verse 14 of John chapter 1, the word of God dwelt or tabernacled with us, and that is the living word of God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 2, verse 15 reminds us that every human being has a conscience because the law of God's word is written on their hearts that is one of the things that separates us from the animals animals do not have a conscience they act on instinct and compulsion another way we keep ourselves pure uh, stay away from the shame of sin is by fearing God I think of Joseph in the Old Testament in Genesis chapter 42 verse 18 it says that God uh, Joseph feared God when he was confronted by a woman, Potiphar's wife, in Genesis chapter 39, Joseph was a young, good-looking, well-built young man. This lady must have seen him. And, um, you know, men, just like women, women could also be like men and, you know, desire someone that looks good with the eyes. And yet we're told in Genesis chapter 39, verse 9, that despite the fact that Joseph had this opportunity, he ran from that situation because he said, how could I do this against my God? You see, when you fear God, when you're in his word and you have a desire to be obedient to the Lord, you will avoid temptation, the temptations of sin, which brings on shame. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we are told in Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 to 11, and Luke chapter 4, verses 1 to 13, he was tempted of Satan. And how did he overcome the devil? by quoting the word of God and quoting the book of Deuteronomy at that. I mean, I remember early in my Christian life, we were told to emphasize on the Gospels and Romans, Psalms, Proverbs, and it's true, that's part of the word of God. But just think of it, Christ quoted Deuteronomy to overcome the devil. All of scriptures God breathed as we read in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 and Christ himself said, search all the scriptures, John chapter 5, verse 39, for they testify of me. My friends, this is how we overcome the, uh, the shame that we can experience in life because of sin. I was recently talking to a Christian friend of mine. The fifth commandment that uh, God gave us in the Ten Commandments is honor your mother and father. We read in the New Testament, also in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 to 3. Honor your mother and father that it may go well with you and you have a long life on the earth. 
And you know, since my both parents are gone, and as you get older and you lose loved ones, you sometimes can look back and realize how selfish you are, how rebellious you are, um, and not listening to your parents. And um, it's not a pity party. And you know, I know there's no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus, but I think if we're all honest, we can look back at our lives and 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 realize that when we disobeyed God, we disobeyed his word, we disobeyed our parents, it brought shame on our life. We did things we shouldn't have done. I remember when I was younger, we, you know, guys I knew myself, we'd get involved with a girl, you, you would uh, try to hide, you know, what you were doing from your parents. I grew up in the streets and not to promote what I did, but I'm just trying to make a point, you know, we would go and find, you know, try to get drugs and you would, Always look around to see if there was a cop because your conscience was guilty. You knew you were doing something wrong. Now that I don't do those things no more, I can see a police officer and have a clear conscience because I'm not doing something wrong. Same thing with my wife. I've been with my wife for over 30 years now. I could have intimacy with my wife and not feel guilty. I have a clear conscience because I'm obeying God's word. I'm doing things according to God's word. When we come outside of God's word, and we try to do things our own way, we're gonna get ourselves into trouble. We're gonna have shame and guilt in our hearts. But I can encourage you in this. Micah chapter seven, verse 19 tells us that when we come to God through Jesus Christ, our sins are thrown into the sea of forgetfulness. I, uh, Psalm 103, verse 12 tells us, as far as the east is from the west, God removes our sins. God can remove the shame and the guilt of our sins. Are there consequences? Absolutely, until we go home to be with the Lord. But our consciences can be pure and clean, undefiled, guiltless, if we come to God in his terms. And I hope today's devotional video, my friends, will encourage us to stay in the word of God, draw near to the Lord through Christ, take your walk with God seriously. Remember, sin is sin and hell is hot. It is a serious matter. It's nothing to play around with. You play with fire, you will get burned. Be careful of the company you keep. You often hear me quote 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Bad company corrupts good morals. Stay with good people that are going to edify and build you up spiritually. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ. We'll see this devotional video today. I hope it'll be a source of encouragement, maybe even conviction. To stay in the word, the written word, the Bible the living word, Jesus Christ. Fill us with your Holy Spirit so that we can be less of ourselves. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you all.